Hi, my name is Dr. Andrea Gazaniga, and I'm going to talk to you about thesis statements. So, what is a thesis statement? A thesis statement is your argument or claim condensed into one or two sentences. So, the thesis statement is really the anchor of your entire paper. It's what holds everything together, and it is the basis for what you're writing. So that you are making a claim that you're then setting out to prove in your essay. What are the characteristics of a good thesis statement? A good thesis statement makes a debatable claim. So you don't want to state the obvious in your thesis statement because then your readers probably won't be invested in sitting down and hearing your ideas. Making a debatable claim means that you'll be marshalling evidence and support in order to prove and persuade your idea to your audience. You want to take a definite stance with your thesis statement. Thesis statements shouldn't be neutral. You are making a claim and you are going to prove it. A thesis statement also challenges or refines a well-known view. So sometimes when we're doing our research and we're reading a lot of information about what people are talking about related to a particular question or topic, and we find perhaps that there may be a gap in the conversation that you um, as an independent scholar want to fill. And so when we talk about a thesis statement as adding something new to an ongoing conversation, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're reinventing the wheel. It can simply mean that you are adding um, a new angle or perspective to something that people are already talking about and that perhaps you're seeing a place where some particular aspect of the question that you're asking isn't being treated with as much um, attention and so you want to give attention to it. So that's what we mean when we say that it challenges or can refine a well-known view. A thesis statement should also be focused and specific, and by which I mean you need to consider the scope of your essay. So if you're writing a five page paper, um, you really want a thesis statement that is very targeted and specific because you don't actually have a lot of space to deal with generalities. Uh, in a longer work, you can perhaps be a little bit more expansive in the claims that you want to prove. But you want to think about the scope of your essay and generally the shorter that your essay is, the more focused and specific your thesis statement needs to be. Um, and a thesis statement can also preview the evidence that's going to follow in the essay. Um, and I'll explain what this means with an example. So uh, here's a bad thesis statement. Superhero movies have become very popular entertainment lately. So why is this a bad thesis statement? Because it's not really debatable. It's obvious. It's also not very specific. I don't feel very invested in this argument because I already know it's true. So how would we make this into a more specific and interesting thesis statement? Well, after some research, we might come up with this. Although superhero movies might seem escapist entertainment for the millions who watch them, they should be read as socially conscious films that emerge from an increasing urgency to deal with issues of race and gender in the United States over the past 10 years. So what you can see from this good thesis statement is that it begins by challenging a well-known view. And oftentimes good thesis statements will begin with an although. So the formula may be, although X seems true, Y actually is true. Or although we think of X, we may need to start thinking of Y. So we're challenging a well-known view. The, the green portion here is making that debatable claim. So it's taking a very definite stance. And that's going to be what you're going to prove in your essay, that they should be read as socially conscious films. The blue portion here is previewing what kind of evidence we're going to find when we read the essay. We're going to have an expectation of understanding how the issues of race and gender are becoming more urgent. 
And then finally, in the United States over the past 10 years, the purple portion is very focused and specific. So we're, we're talking about a very specific place in a very specific time. Couple of things to keep in mind um, as you're working on your thesis statements. The thesis statement is not your topic. So superhero movies is the topic. Your thesis statement is really um, the argument that you're making about your topic. And that argument is gonna emerge from research, which leads to my second important thing to keep in mind. Thesis statements evolve. The more you learn, the more you do research, the more likely it is that whatever question you begin with and develop into a kind of claim or argument is going to change because you're going to be learning more and you're going to be informed more about that argument. So always remember that even though you have a thesis statement, perhaps when you begin your research process, it may look very different as you um, move through that process.